Hey everybody, I'm up here at uh, Metro Guitar Service in Arlington, Virginia. My friend Greg runs the shop here and he's gonna be uh, walking us through a little bit of um, an experiment that we're doing with some new pots to set up a guitar the way I like. I like hum single, uh, two pickups instead of three, even on a Strat. So we're trying some new stuff. Let me show you what we're talking about. So this is a dual pot. The top is a 250 and the bottom is a 500K. So it's perfect for doing a hum single setup. Uh, I don't know how long Fender's been selling these, but it hasn't been too terribly long. Uh, made in Taiwan, genuine Fender part. Uh, these were recommended to me by Ron Thorne, who uh, works at the custom shop there. And we're gonna be putting it into my American Professional 2 over there, the dark blue one. with these Fralin pickups here. And uh, and that's Greg, say hi, Greg. Hi, Greg. <laughs> so it's going into that pick guard, which is a Warmoth pick guard, uh, just like the one that came off the, the guitar. We took the whole thing off complete so that uh, it's we've got the whole harness. So right now we're just getting everything set up. You can see the pots are in place. We've got the dual pot in the volume position. And this is gonna have a single coil in the neck and a humbucker in the bridge. So we've got a 250K in the middle for the tone pot for the single coil, and then a 500K in the bridge position for the bridge pickup. So uh, what Greg's doing now is he's getting all the grounding squared away so that um, it's all grounded because you need, need everything grounded. So now the tone caps are in place. We're gonna get the switch wired up. We gotta put jumpers on a three-way switch which is a little complicated, but I've showed you how to do that in another video, so I'm not gonna go over it again. And then we'll show you what's unique about wiring up this setup with the stacked, the dual pot. I've just gotta stop calling it a stacked pot. It's called a dual pot. So because of the way the pot is made and the way that it's gonna work in, this, in the system, normally on a Strat you have a master volume and two tones, and you wire the pickups all to the switch first, and then you have a single output to the volume pot and from the volume pot to the jack. Because we're basically running two volume pots in this stacked setup, you can't do that. So we gotta hook the pickups, hook the pickups up to the volume pot, the each volume pot first, the 250 for the single and the 500 for the humbucker. And then from that, they go individually to the switch and then the output is gonna come from the switch to the jack instead of from the volume pot to the jack. And then from each volume side of the volume pot, it will go to the respective tone pot. So that's how that's gonna work. And I'll now cut to Greg doing it because he's real good at it and we'll watch him. Try not to get in his way. I don't wanna get burnt. <laughs> So we figured out, we tested it earlier and figured out that the top is the 250K. Am I remembering that right? That's correct. I've watched Greg wire about 10 different guitars, usually mine. He's very good at it. And these pickups come from Fralin with three conductors so that you can reverse the phase if you need to, if you're putting them in a guitar with different, with a different brand. But since they they match, we don't have to worry about phase. And I, when I called Fralin to order these pickups, I told him exactly what I was going to do with them. Put them in the same guitar, and that's and so they made them to work well together. So hopefully it will be easy to balance the volume between the two pickups. And you notice that we're not cutting off the long lead because you never know where these pickups might end up. They might not stay in this guitar forever. So we'll use some zip ties here in a second once everything's wired up to do all that. And you could 
since the guitar way over there has a now it has an empty single coil middle you could stuff all the wires into the middle instead of into the pot cavity which is usually where they end up i don't know just an idea <laughs> you're the guy doing the work i'll let you do it the way you want to so the pickups are on the volume pots and now we need to jumper those to the switch and to the tone pots as well we already did my other strat like this as to make sure it worked before we did this one but it's still an experiment of sorts now is the jumpers to the switch and they go in the normal position for a three-way switch so we're basically wiring it up like it's a telecaster instead of a stratocaster on a three-way switch instead of a five and that's just a personal preference that's the way i like them there you go there you go now we got to run another jumper to the tone pots and then it's all done and we can connect the jack and the grounds to the ground to the claw and then uh, put strings on the guitar and test it up. So you don't need to watch us do that. Well, here, I'll give you a nice little get in and look at that a little better. And we'll be back in a second when we got strings on the guitar. Okay, it's time to cram and test. Boom. Here's the here's the cable. We can test it out. Bingo. So now we know that all the, the all the electronics work. We don't know what it sounds like yet because we don't have strings on it. We'll find that out in a minute. So it turns out Greg had these really snappy blue plastics. So we went with that. I think those look really cool since it's a blue guitar. And it's time for a little cleanup before we do the strings. And uh, Greg does this on all, all the guitars that come through, not just mine. He's cool like that. A clean guitar is a happy guitar. This is always the least exciting part of any guitar repair or modification, restringing, but it has to be done. Locking tuners and a electric string winder makes the job a lot quicker though. How many guitars do you figure you've restrung in your whole life? I just think about how often I put new strings on my guitars and I probably go through 50 or 60 sets of strings in a year. It doesn't take very long for that to get used up. Yeah. Yeah, I might get a, does Ernie Ball do bulks or just Diodario? Uh, I only know of Diodario doing it, but deal directly with Ernie Ball. Right. Uh, Have you seen one of these fenders with the rosewood necks on them? Sure. These are great necks. Yeah. I didn't even know they were doing it until I stumbled across this one. And then of course they're everywhere. It's like when you're, when you decide to get another car, you figure out which one you want. And then of course you see it everywhere. most important part, trimming off the ends. Super in tune. 
over on those Emerson pots too. I think the neck pickup could come down just a little bit. So we'll do that, but not on camera because we don't have enough hands. I'll do a whole to full tone test soon so you can hear what the new pickups sound like through my amp. And thanks for watching.